I, I won't lose. Hello, this is Massimine 347, the exciting playthrough of live commentary of Phoenix White Ace Attorney. And today we will continue and start off from the new chapter. Hello, this is May. Hey May, it's me. Me? Yeah. What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And that's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you. Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's... A clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made it look like a statue, the finger, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Now, uh, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out, sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Mm, well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office door tonight? Say 9 o'clock to pick it up. I'll be in the pre-trial pre meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We hit the jo usual joint. All right, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, now I'll be waiting, man. Conversation recorded September the fifth, only twenty seven a.m. Hmm, let's see, seven fifth, eight fifty seven p.m. Faye and Co's little office. <laughs> Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker. That swallowed... That swallowed those papers? How could you know? Ho ho. You are not con... Ooh. You are not coniferous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. Ho oh, ho! My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Red, white, Blue. Episode 2. Turnabout Sisters. September 5th, 9.08pm. Faye and Co's offices. Uh oh, now I'm late. Huh? That's strange. The chief must have gone home already. She said her sister was coming out, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Bird? Mia! Oh yeah, you, this is the part where you can examine stuff and look around. But for the moment, there's nothing really to examine. It's just smooth. And this is where you can basically the selection screen. That smell. Blood. Sis. Someone's there. Chief? Chief? Chief! Who are you?
strange girl drops out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her, her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally, she was cold. Chief. Okay, now this is the part you need to examine. We need to look this. We need to look to see what evidence we can pick up to find out the monster who did this. Oh, and I liked her too. <laughs> well, Phoenix did. No, I need something to examine. It's a cursory of dry blood. Now I wonder that this became the murder weapon. Again. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this. If there are any clues here, she was struck on the head of a blood object. She probably died instantly. The finger lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The finger added to the court record. Hmm, there are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be a piece of glass like stand lying broken in the back of the room. There we go. And then glass shards are added. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm? A piece of paper? It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? And this right here is a piece of paper. A word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Mia? Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I'd better call the police and find out what that girl is doing here. And this is, you can see other stuff as well, if you're a bit curious. Chief's chair, a simple function design. It was great seeing it too. <laughs> Them shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be in the remains of glass like a sand. <laughs> so then you just go back, move, and go back to fake her in the offices. That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh oh, I hope she didn't run on me. Yikes! Don't scare me like that. Um Kitty, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Mayor. Mayor Faye. Mayor Faye? Mayor? So Mia was writing this girl's name. Mayor, I should show her the receipt. I never thought I should... there'd be a useful evidence like this outside of the court. And click present. And then you before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. That's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would Sis write my name? Uh oh, now I've done it. I better hurry up and call the police. She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her. But I have to know. Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I came in, your room was dark. And sis. Sis? So she was already dead. So, you're the chief's sister. I'm a younger sister. And you were here, visiting? This late at night? Yes. She said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes. It was that clock. It was the finger. There we go. Now, you need to phone the police, so examine this phone for you. Right, I better call the police. That's funny. Through the screws in the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Please! Please come quick! What, what, what was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? She's st 
doing right at me. She's holding a three in her hand. Remember in the office desk. She had a very particular kid. Policy about office to talk. Spend big on stuff from the client's use, but keep your own stuff simple. Oh, the sirens. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Alright, I'm the duck 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 gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. You received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person say they saw a murder. It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. May, mate, she wouldn't have. Nah. Wah! Excuse me! Yeek! This word man here means anything to you? Um, that's. That's my name. What? The victim drew this here, noting her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Killer? I'm not- He's closed! You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? Mia's younger sister, Mayor, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Mayor as soon as possible. Uh, the attention center. You've been coming here a few times as well throughout the game. <laughs> wow, they have poor Mayor locked up like a criminal. Oh, it's you, Lloyd. Good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. <laughs> you can say. Okay. You can, we, we can be cool if we want to, but I'm not going to. But it's interesting to see what the... It's, whatever you affect up to the story, because either way, it probably will be a tourney, but um, I'm going to be nice to it. So, of course I will. <laughs> first things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will cheer her up. What, really? What? Did I say the wrong thing? She looks sad enough. Um, what? What's wrong? You don't think I can do it? No, no one could. You could but believe me. Even you, when you found in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought. It's okay, I understand. And I also heard about you. Heard? Heard? What about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. <laughs> Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha, so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strikes fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh? Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. That's what she said. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to trouble you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But, at the same time, I can't just sit and watch. When I think of the person who did this to me... I know. And it's time to talk to her. You get a few questions to stop first, but soon later on, if you talk to the same person again and if there's anything evidence, then more questions become available. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it to you? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. 
Uh, spirit medium. Pretty sure that qualifies as strange. <laughs> yeah, you see, because I asked that question, the medium is available. But I'll answer that one first. I mean, last I do this one first. The day of the crime. Can you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shaped like the finger. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in the case? Um, right, she said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it? In her own voice? Sorry for that pause. <laughs> Her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure that conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah. I forgot how to sleep those things. Okay, anyway, no few more interruptions. Ah, your cell phone. So, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, uh, right. Mm, of course. Next time I see a detective comes in, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. And got to Mayor's memory, added two units. And that's these. Hmm. TikTok. Sometimes I may have to ask her twice for add something new. Let's see. Can you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing is last week I was just talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on a piece of evidence for a drive. That the thinker that Larry had. Frankly qualifies as a serial murderer by now. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9 o'clock. Lights were off and I could smell blood. Then, then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Mayor. That's all we need to hear for now. There we go. Sometimes we have to ask the same question twice. If it's ticks, then you don't need to do it over again, otherwise you probably get the same dialogue. But if it isn't ticks, you probably have to talk to probably get some uh, information. So that's one spirit medium. So you're an acolyte. A uh, medium in training? That's right. The Fae family, especially the women, women have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, is it the Fae family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountains as far as her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. No, I had no idea. Hmm, wait. What? So you were real honest to goodness spirit medium? We have ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact me as spirit then? You can just ask her who killed it. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that though. Eh, uh, I thought that would be too easy. Hmm? Huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering. Can I ask you a favor? This is the address of the famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I were ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Yeah, except first. Don't worry, this isn't gonna... Yeah, I mean, you might take a check. Don't worry about it. This isn't gonna... You might change the story, but, but yeah, accept it. Hmm. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Say, what about your parents? Uh, I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. Try us tomorrow. At 10 o'clock. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? What if this guy refuses? They told me if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They give me until 4 o'clock this afternoon. I'm missing out of almost 7. I'd better hurry. Right, I'll be back. And with that, we now finish all the questions. So now it's time to move. I haven't got much time. Do so we go back to phone and code offices? Oh, when it's screwed like that, it means the new location is activated. So, phone, let's go back to the Gorsberg lawyer offices. 
can I go back? I can go to September 6th, go to the law offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say where he's back. It must have been hard to keep trying everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention we're in an office like this. I guess I just have to come back later. You can examine this if you want to, but I guess move back to the Fane Co. Lawyer offices. September 6th, Fane Co. Lawyer offices. <laughs> the office is filled with police officers. They're all busy searching for clues. Hey, you there! This is a grab scene! Pal, no trespass! Uh, sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that guy, aren't you? No, no! Phoenix White! How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, yes, I got the wrong name, Mr. White. Sorry about that. That blitz guy. He was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent! Hmm, right. And you, uh. <laughs> the gum tree. Did you see those shoes? <laughs> I'll take the gum tree. Um, gum tree, wasn't it? Dick gum tree. What? At your service. Hang on, Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, go over here. Y yes, sir. B be right there. <laughs> um, ahem. You're a lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Who? He thinks I'm like his lawyer. That pal is very... Did you do an autopsy? Mm, you want to know the results, eh? Now, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. You might have be your, you might be your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. And for that, you get an autopsy report and and mayor. Um, about mayor. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Well, why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means, you being... And you being a lawyer and all. Ooh, Edgeworth. You be seeing him a lot too. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait. How do you know him? You do know him, don't you? <laughs> Of course I do. I know him. He's a fear of prosecutor. He's a fear of pain. He doesn't fear of remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ah, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid it's pretty the size of case. So Edgeworth is on this on. He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredible young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. <laughs> oh right, yeah, he needs to get Mayor's phone, so he needs to present evidence. So, here's Mayor's memo. I was wondering, did you see Mayor's cell phone? Oh, there, I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Hmm, they're telling me straight, they're not so straight. Let's try this one. Um, if I tell him why, I want it. There's no way to give it to me. Something that matter? Oh, no, no, it's just, you know, detective. Nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it. Like her boyfriend's. That cell phone knows all the little girl's sweetest and spicy secrets. Uh, you're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in my memory. Impressive. You're quite a detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here. You can have the phone back. It was a suspicious call because in there after all. See, you didn't notice the recorded conversation. There we go. See, even though I got that one wrong, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's only during the call where it's a lot more serious. <laughs> Check the court record to hear the received the, the recorded conversation. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes. Thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you were planning on talking to the wit that witness. Anyway, you better not. 
No interference in the witness with your lawyer's ways, pal. Come to think of it, I completely forgot about that. Hmm. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I saw about this, but I can't tell you anything about it. Well, you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already, then? Ha ha, you're trying your loyalty tricks on me now. She's not to go outside the room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get the text to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. <laughs> oh yeah, you can check all the evidence here if you're curious. Like me, all types of report. The thinker. <laughs> Some glass shards and maybe blood. But yeah, we finished. We're finished here. To the gateway, to the Gatewater Hotel. I guess Gorsberg Lloyd won't be there yet, so best to go there last. So it's sixth, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth white wheel, smooth. You're a lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say anything to that lawyer, pal. <laughs> Remember to self. Thanks for the country for making my job harder. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Ooh, let me go fetch them so I can look the part of beautiful eyeballs. I bet you the lawyer that cast a quite examine this one. <laughs> Are you just to say that? Anyway, we start examining the room. Hmm. Hmm. The night summer sunlight streams through the window. Yeah, the fan cut off this low building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize the face from the distance, and so. A bottle and two glasses on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! 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 What are you doing? No touching! Ooh, bad boy! You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside that drawer. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. You observed incident? Sounds just like a door in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Uh, go. Better not encourage it. Uh, you know that thing that occurred and um, happened the other day? The bad thing? What did you see? When it happened? You don't suppose you could tell me about it? Pretty please? Let me see it. Uh, Drew Bauer! If you want to know, you just have to come to the court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Um, could you just. Who exactly are you? Ooh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? No, 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 hey, I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> you know you keep when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. <laughs> Why? Right. can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no. <laughs> you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. I see there are two gaps on the table. Is there someone staying here with you? Ooh, one of the amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh no, not me, I'm just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why are you trying to go look for clues? In the garbage? Hmm? This maid doesn't like those little lawyers. Hmm. Oh boy. Of course, we'll be trying to examine this again. Should stop you. Maybe they <laughs> still uh, still see Pretty. Wait, should that be still alive? Or whatever. Oh they just hang on the wall. <laughs> hmm, flowers are fake, I'd expected. I know some flowers are cheaters, but that's about the extent of my full knowledge. <laughs> A slim bit. It's been recently made. I think I'm catching it. 
And then he's able to pre present her. So, I guess it's time to move. Alright, uh, you go to Gospel Lawyer Offices. Oh, it's a detention center. Hey! What is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry, I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm, I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. I wonder if I'm presenting me a cell phone. It's interesting to try different options. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Ooh, say, can I listen to my sister's voice? My eyes are closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. Hmm. Well, let's go to Gwardsburg Lawyer Offices. He's probably there by now. Hmm, seems like Mr. Gwardsburg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. Uh home! That wasn't the most over-the-top cleaning of the throat I've ever heard. Ah ha ha, so you're the one they say you've been looking for me? Uh, yes, that's me. It looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm, that badge on your collar. Uh, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm, something in that? You're going to see the one and only Marvin Grosberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir, actually... Sorry about that. It's about Mayor. Mayor Faye. Uh, yes, Mayor Faye. Go on. Um, why the strange reaction? Uh, uh cha cha. I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Uh, um, anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to present her. Sorry, in the discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell my... How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you wouldn't take the case. Um, uh, well, you see, it's just... I'm busy, you see. But the client is me, Faye's sister. Um, ahem. Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in the good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Think not. Huh? Did you say something? Uh, I think not, I said. What do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their soul will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon. I could leave you. Now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? How do you know me a fay? She worked here a long time ago. Pretty apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Aha, uh -huh. you notice? It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The curve of this guy, the who to see, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three minutes. I have no intention of answering it, of course. No, I won't say it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's off as hell. I'm not buying. Jeez. <laughs> and with that, ugh, this isn't looking good for me. Where's her the bad news? <laughs> Uh, this is going to be painful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Uh, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just just be honest. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? Oh. I see. 
Not even the band in them. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? So she could still be alive. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say that ESP runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... He... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose my ESP. I feel bad for it. I by yourself up on that mountain? Hmm. So, who was this man who um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Well, so what happened? The case was solved. We fought. You fought? The man my mother had the police capture was innocent. The police's consultation with a medium had all been carrying that secret, of course. A man found out about it and he the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it in big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me, White. What was his name? My sister told me. White. Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What shall I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Screw that! She needs our help! I know my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well, I can't offend you. Someone else is a culprit. I <laughs> don't know why. Yeah, that seems all nice about you. <laughs> no one is a sad person without any friends. I know. I've been there. A long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Mayor, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Alright, thank you. Whew, she smiled at last. She's like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, White. Yes! And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. And now that we but now that we convinced we're gonna be a lawyer, we need to find out what's in that drawer. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me? You are Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come out to the first room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Uh, I believe I guess Miss May is currently using the uh facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to sleep around a bit. Ah, I almost forgot. Yeah, you came back quickly. May I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White, a Blue Corp phone. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White, a Blue Corp? I've never heard that name. Right. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who wooed me and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? Now just checking that drawer. Yeah, the screwdriver is sticking out of the half open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? 
a, a wiretap? Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Excellent. Now we have the wiretap. There is definitely some suspicion about this Miss May. I wish she had something like this in her hotel room. There's a story behind all of this. I know it. Alright. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Mayor's sake, I'll get to this woman's bottom. Get crazy, Gary! You know what I mean! No, bellboy? Still there? Uh-oh, turn square. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. To be continued. <laughs> With that, we are done with the f with the first part of this episode. That's why this will be split into parts, and basically, so you don't just go straight into a trial now. From now on, you'll be looking around for evidence, interrogating people, presenting evidence to them to help them expose maybe their lies or help them remember certain secrets. Anything you can to help out. These will get longer and longer and sometimes it's kind of a bit tedious and some of you will be stuck there for quite a while because you might not know, you know, where to go or something. But at this point I'm going to save. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, sorry about that folks, I completely forgot that when I save it, it always has to go straight to day two try, but I don't want to do that now. <laughs> Ooh, that was embarrassing <laughs> because it's going to be pretty long. <laughs> so, and I've already spent like a lot of time just looking for evidence. But anyway, this is Massive Room 347, game of the Titan RPG the platformer. Stay classy. <laughs>